to viewers once again welcome to the depression this is discovery World channel thank you well, for the subscription to this channel and also your contribution in promoting the channel for some time now we have been on how you can design a free generator and we have been discussing different components of free generator we talk about the flyway the generator the electric motor and the base we talk so many things about free generator and uh, so far so good many of my subscribers have started producing and i started consulting in different areas which they have issue and i have been able to provide solution on different things last week i talked about how you can design a free generator the kind of design you can adopt when you want to design a free generator and this course between 5 kVA to 20 kVA, what kind of design should you use in this kind, a kind of a, a frame generator that it will enable you to keep effective pressure? Today, I'm continuing on that same topic how you can design the best frame design for 30 kVA, 40, and 60. You know, every generator capacity device also matters the kind of design you use. The design you are using in 5 kV generator might not be exactly the same design you use for 50 kV generator because if you are doing 50, 60 kV generator, you should be able to do some amendments on the design and that is what I'm going to discuss today. Please be focused and do not fail of the generator is 20 kV. Now, 20 kV plus 20 kV, we have 40 kV, that's what is making it now. So what we have here is 40 kV generator capacity. Now, if we want to design this kind of generator, what do we do? What are the kind of design? Because you cannot use the same design with other type of generator you're using. And for instance, if I'm doing this design, I cannot still use the same design with this type of generator of this nature. Because this can see this one, which we talked last, uh, last week. I'm talking about the base here is only using only one generator here and the same motor drive it and the base the control and everything is the same but in this case now we're talking about two generators of higher capacity which is 10 20 20. now you design the far that is why we have this kind of structure they see now the structure of the design is different from the structure of this design in this case now the generator rests on the base and the mood to move a little higher and the control panel is fixed on that area but now if you go into this design now you can see that this the length of the base the long base here is a little higher and then the motor now is mounted on top of the base unlike this here now the motor only mounted a little base here but this time is shifted up shifted up to the high level so they can accommodate the two generator now. Now the first generator here is mount at below, then the second one is mount on top of this. Then the design here now is designed in such a way that the two of them can be aligned. If you look at very critical, you see the bear here. See the bear. You can see the bed of the generator. See how it is, see how it is lined, and see the flyway how it's being structured. It's already structured to fit this one. What happened is that when this generator start rotating the this this one will rotate first which is taking the wind and this one rotate first it also rotates the second one so the, the motor is being used to control these two generator now instead of using the motor to control one as on this case now we are use, we use one motor to control this one but in this case now we use one motor to control the generator and still have 40 kV that's the capacity and how do you have now we combine the generator the output the output of this generator which is one to output of generator two and then generate it to one as a source which make it 40. so now if you have a very high uh, house strength or, or devices to power and then you know this this device cannot be carried by uh, this kind of generator is advisable for you to adopt this metal generator which is very important for you to have a, a high capacity in this case now your design will change design will definitely change you will shift everything will be a little higher because to be able to accommodate 
the both of them because both of them will be very effective that is what you see this kind of design coming in here now it will help you design now but now when we talk about the each of the design the design when we talk about design we're talking about the specification for the stock of the for the construction of an object or a system for the implementation of that of activities or process now the specification of this generator and the structural design which is what you could see here now the the ion the two generator come at the same time align in the same way the flywheel and the motor is very important now if you have that structure and description it will be able to give what you because now you cannot use a smaller motor to run these two things because remember when you load it there will be a lot of weight on this generator on this motor and if the motor is unable to run at the speed at which you can be able to power the two of them it should not be able to give the good output so that is why we use the word specification because specification is very important on what you are going to use to design this thing then the French design is very important as a guide to the physical structure or specification of your device so the design helps you to understand two things the physical structure which is this one now of the generator which you are seeing now and then the specification because you have two things in design you have the structure physically and also how we call the specification the specification is what you don't see the time many people always see design but it's now you can see the design like at least now you don't know the, the motor can be the same but it cannot be the same specification you can say after why do you use one generator one motor here for this generator and then use the same one motor here for this generator no it is not the same way you see you uh, Lamborghini is, is is higher in cost so you cannot compare Lamborghini cost or engine configuration to a, a, a Camry Toyota Camry just because Lamborghini is smaller does not make it to be a, a little inferior or what call it little inferior or how many say well, I can I can that's which is a small vehicle so high it costs maybe 400 million 300 million or depending on the case maybe so but the question is what are the configuration that make that vehicle yes it might have four tires but is it the same configuration with a Toyota Camry no because they have different configuration that make it unique it has speed, it has well embed structure that can run at the fast rate, the engine system, everything well fitted. So though all those things make the expectation of the vehicle very high. Same thing on this design system. You might see one motor here and see the same motor here. And that one motor is being used to run one generator here. And the same one motor, different same one motor as may say be used to run to the generator with high capacity this may be maybe as you can so this one may be a 5 or 20, 10 kva or 20 as kva be and this one now is half to 20 kva multiplier so you now see using this needle wise it says let me say a why is all based on specification when the specification is well configured maybe like you can see this is a two uh, uh, capacitor motor is as you can see, this is two capacitor motor, this capacitor is capacitor, and this does not have capacitor built. You can see, yes, it does not, it's not there. So, if you compare the two generators now, you will not have the same in system in terms of speed ratio. And remember that the motor speed determines the output of the generators because if the mode, the output of the generator is, is high, it means the speed of the motor too here is very high so when you want to design look at first of all the physical structure which is this one now you see now and also look at the specification of the system because if you put the two together you should be able to have a good design system because you cannot say i'm a good designer without knowing the specification or the structure the structure is just what you see you can copy the structure now this now construct this construct that but you cannot copy the specification until i give to you and that like what I want to do now. So what I want to do now is I want to show you some few specifications you use on this capacity set. Now let us go here now. If you see this place now, I use what you see in this system now. Is two things here. You use the electric motor, the flyway, the generator, the long base, and the testing bulb. So now if you look at the specification of this now, 
for for the minimum you can use you can use 1.5 uh, k lowest conversion rate depending on the case might be but in the RPM, you can the minimum you can use not the maximum the minimum you can use 1500 because some people make the minimum can use 1500 but you can go to more higher as per RPM because RPM is the original speed per minute so you must go for higher as per it then the flyway you can use a 25 uh, kilogram to 35 kilogram depend on what you want to use because if you are talking about the output, the output line you have 20 20 kil uh, kilowatts times 2 which is 40 kilowatts and then the rupee may be 1.5 uh, rupee may be 1.5 as it okay, may be 1.5 so you must know maybe 1.5 as you can see there now so you must know all this then the, this width you know the width of the base already uh, you must may see and the pop system so you must always see the structure of the generator to enable you guide you on everything you do as long as the generator is concerned so before you design take note of this you must know the physical structure of the generator which is this what you see in a structure of the generator and then you must know the specification so if you get a structure finish you must also know because if i'm going to design 60 kva i may not use the same specification as per 30 or 40. i may go in the higher even the base may not be the same i may change it but because you're going to have a more heavier structural generator and something more new and better so the structure of this one also going to change so that is where the bulb system allows the bulb system to test your system so it may not leave really as much but what matters much is the base which is what you're going to see here the base here and the motor this flyway which also is supporting a study here the, the kinetic energy that enables the system to become beyond on motion continually and then the generator the two generator so these are the two things you put into these things are things you put into consideration the physical structure of the generator, of the generator and the specification so if you have a question you maybe want to design something so maybe some of the always ask me i want to do so capacity of the generator what are the specifications i will tell them take this take that take this and put together you have what you want so some many people also ask me so they send me some powerful design and says this is my plan i have i will guide them in what i can do well how i can guide them to do that so this is one of the things you need to know now let us take a look at the two you have this now you know what more about this picture aspect now Thank you, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Try to subscribe and also share because we continue to bring an update and also so many things 